Hey guys, Chris here with TechRecipes.com and today I'm going to show you a very important tutorial on how to compile and run Java programs through the Windows CMD shell. Now it's very, I wouldn't say necessary, but it's very helpful to know how to do this and when I first started learning Java, this is how we uh, compiled our programs for about the first few weeks of classes right through the CMD. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. If you're new to Java, it's a great tutorial. Uh, or if you're just old and you've never learned how to do it for some reason, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So you probably do, I mean, you more than likely do have Java installed already, but maybe you want the latest version. So you can, of course, get that from Oracle. And it's going to install, uh, I have 64-bit Windows, so it's in Program Files 86. Java and the folder I'm looking at is JDK 1.7.0 underscore 06. This is the folder you need. So we're going to go in there, make sure you have this bin folder, and then look in here, make sure we have javac.exe, and we're good to go. That's what's going to compile this for us. So the first thing we need to do is edit our path variables. So we're going to type in system in the window search and pop up system here. Click on advanced system settings go in environmental variables and under system variables go down to path and hit edit now what you need to do is put in the path to this JDK bin just into this folder so at the beginning you'll see I have C program files 86 Java my JDK you probably can't read that because it's scrolling by but basically I am pointing to this bin folder so if I were to put this in notepad it would look like that. That's where I'm pointing to. And I just appended this to the beginning of all these system variables. So go to the beginning, put that in, and you need this semicolon at the end of the string. So once you have that, hit OK, hit OK, hit OK. So now we're ready. Uh, we need a folder for where we can put our Java files because when we compile it, it's going to create a class file as well. So I did that in local disk Java. You'll see I have a program called hello world.java and if I open it just basic it will print out hello world and let's go ahead and compile that and run it through the CMD. So open up the window search, type in CMD and hit enter. First thing we need to do is change the directory we're looking at because right now I'm looking in user slash Chris which isn't where our Java files are. So we're going to type CD for change directory. I'm going to go local disk and Java. So now we're looking in the Java directory as you'll see right here on the left it shows you. So what we need to do is type javac in the name of your program dot java hit enter. Alright nothing happened what the hell. Well, we'll look over here on the right you'll see a dot class file was created. Okay well now let's run this program. Now to run the program we simply type in java Hello world, or the name of the program, this time without the .java extension, hit enter. Boom, you'll see the output right there, hello world. Really easy to do, kind of necessary. It's up to you, but uh, thanks for watching, guys.